Hey guys, Cleve here. This video is going to be about basic and advanced camera controls in Planet Coaster. The basic camera in Planet Coaster is always fixed at a point directly in the center of your view. I use WASD to move the camera around. W pulls that point towards the bottom of the screen. S pushes the point away from the bottom of the screen. A pulls that point to the right. And D pulls that point to the left, effectively moving the portal around. Middle mouse button depressed will allow you to pan around that point and also get tilt at that point by going up and down and left and right. Using the scroll wheel, you can zoom away and into the look at point. Using Q and E, you can also rotate around that point if you can't use the mouse or choose not to use the mouse for that moment. This is the basic camera control in Planet Coaster. You can also hold down the right mouse button and drag this point with the right mouse button depressed if you so choose. This is very similar to using WASD you may choose to do this to get a bit more precision if you'd like to only move the camera just a fraction versus an entire push of W, A, S, or D. It gives you just that slight bit of precision to move the camera. Now, we want to talk about advanced camera control in Planet Coaster. The way to toggle between basic and advanced camera control is the T button on your keyboard. There is no visual indicator that allows you to know which camera you are controlling. So you just have to track that mentally and it will be quite obvious when you use your mouse to move the camera around. Right mouse button in advanced control still operates the same. However, middle mouse button now allows you to move the camera look at point as if you were say controlling in a first person shooting game. Now W pushes the camera towards the look at point and S pulls the camera away from it. A and D function similarly as they did before. Remember, middle mouse button can move your camera look at point. W will pull that point closer to the camera. S will pull it, will push it away. If you want the camera to move faster while you're holding W, hold shift. And it will vastly increase the speed at which the camera is moving. This camera is very useful, for example, to get into tight spaces like when you want to work underground. The last thing to know, instead of rotating the camera while in advanced motion, while in advanced move, Q and E will modify elevation of the camera. Q will pull the camera closer to the ground. E will push the camera away from the ground, raising it. In this mode, the camera will collide with terrain. This makes it much easier to work underground and work on cool little cave areas, build that underground dark ride you've been hoping or dreaming about. And to remember to swap back, you push T, The camera will stop colliding with the top of the terrain and you can easily get back to outside. Both cameras are very powerful, very useful, and I switch between them uh, very, very often while I'm building. It all depends on exactly what you're trying to do and at that moment and just remembering that the options are there for you. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. 
if it helped you, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see or hear from me in the next videos. Thanks, guys.